friends gypsy here with zero discrimination youtube channel welcome uh, to my backyard uh, we're on lockdown here uh, right now because of the virus so i figured what better the thing to talk about than metal detectors one of my favorite subjects so let's get started first i want to talk to you about the garrett a series so this is the garrett a350 they don't manufacture this particular model anymore. Now it's the Garrett Ace 200, 300, and 400. The Garrett A series is an awesome detector to start out with. Easy to turn on and use for a beginner all the way up to the 400 for a novice. Um, so great uh, bang for your buck, so to speak. Um, what I love about the A-Series is it's so easy to turn on and go if you're just a brand new detectorist just getting started into the hobby. Um, I use this as a backup as well as when I have someone uh, coming along with me, maybe a, a child or a friend that wants to go metal detecting with me uh, that doesn't have a metal detector, uh, it's great to have an extra detector with you uh, to uh, have to bring along to loan out to those people that would like to try a detector out. Uh, that's why I have the ACE 350. I also have an ACE 250 as well that I've had a long time. Um, so that's what I love about the ACE uh, series. Also, it is waterproof up to here. You don't want to get your box wet, your LCD circuitry wet. Uh, because it isn't water submersible uh, like the AT series that I'm about to discuss with you. Alright, let's talk about the Garrett AT series. AT uh, on the Garrett AT series stands for all-terrain. All-terrain means it can be used on land as well as in the water. So they are uh, submersible up to 10 feet in the water with the waterproof headphones. So the AT series includes the AT Pro, the AT Gold, which I don't have currently, uh, the AT Max, and the ATX. Um, I use my uh, Garrett AT uh, Pro in the rivers, I've used it on the beaches, I've um, used it in the woods, I've used it uh, in all sorts of situations. So it truly is an all-terrain uh, detector. My favorite go-to detector is the AT Max. Uh, this is my uh, personal detector, Maxine is her name. Um, one of my favorite things about her is she has the Z-Link Wireless um, all designed in her. Uh, the Z-Link Wireless means there are no wires on the headphones, uh, so when I'm detecting, say, in the woods or something like that, um, my cord, my wire is not getting hung on branches and stuff like that. So I love the design with the uh, Z-Link wireless, uh, as well as the pin pointer uh, that Garrett now makes with the Z-Link wireless uh, as well, where you can hear the pin pointer in your headphones with the Z-Link um, technology. So uh, the main difference between the Max, the Pro, and the Gold is the Max is one of the most sensitive machines out of the three machines. Uh, it will achieve great depths. It's super sensitive, so you can find even the smallest little things. Uh, maybe if you are doing some gold prospecting, um, 
the Max is great for all types of situations. Uh, I love it for relic hunting and uh, as well as in the river where I detect a lot here in Texas. So um, AT Max is my go-to machine. Now let's talk about the Garrett ATX. Now the ATX is the all-terrain to the extreme. It is an extreme machine. It is a beast. It is a lot heavier than the other AT series, uh, but it's a different technology. What I love about this machine is it's a, a pulse induction machine, which is different from the AT Gold, the AT Pro, and the AT Max. Now, what does that mean? A pulse induction machine with its different uh, technology than the um, very low frequency, the VLF machines, is it's able to handle that highly mineralized soil. So, what sets this apart is, is it's great for doing gold prospecting, it's also good for highly mineralized beaches as well. Uh, and it is waterproof, again, all terrain. So a uh, great machine. It's also, um, being that it's a pulse induction and it works great in highly mineralized soil, if you say you live in some area like Virginia, uh, where the, the soil is really mineralized and you're looking for those Civil War relics, uh, this, is, this would be a great machine for that as well. So, this might be something you want to add to your detector list. Okay, now we're going to talk about the Garrett Sea Hunter Mark II. I've had this machine a very, very long time. Now, what I love about this particular machine is it is a waterproof submersible machine. You can use it for shallow water hunting, just like the AT series, or you can use it for deep uh, water hunting, such as uh, scuba diving. So um, it is submersible up to 200 feet in the water. Um, this, I've got it set up right now where all I would have to do is hook my coil up into here, hook my headphones, and do a hip mount and wear this on my hip for surf and beach hunting. Now, again, like I said about the difference between a pulse machine versus the VLF machine, this works great in highly mineralized soil. So it makes it especially good for the uh, beach and water uh, hunting, like such as the surf on the beach. So I take it every year on my trip, my vacation trip to Florida. So um, I've had this machine a very long time and I've found some really awesome, amazing rings with this machine, including a platinum ring with seven diamonds in it years ago. It was a price for over $3,000. So this is my favorite beach machine. All right, so now we've talked about the different detectors. Um, some of you are like, well, why would you even want that many detectors, Gypsy? Well, for me, I do travel a lot and I go to all kinds of different places. So it's kind of like a golfer. I'm borrowing this from my friend, Steve Zazulik, who said it's kind of like a golfer. Um, they don't want to just use one golf club to use for all of their golfing. Well, for me, for all different types of metal detecting situations that I encounter, I want to use different metal detectors. The same with the different coils, which we'll discuss more about the different coils uh, for each detector in a different video. But for now, thank you all for joining me. If you need a metal detector or metal detecting supplies, coils, diggers, pouches, um, I've got you covered. I now am a sales rep for Digger's Den. I'll put a link below here. You can go check out um, our metal detectors, our line of metal detectors. We do carry all brands. 
but as you all know, I use the Garrett machines. I've been detecting 21 years and I've used all different types of brands. So I'm sure I'll be able to help you with some knowledge. Um, anyway, send me an email. And uh, if you have any questions about metal detecting, metal detectors, uh, maybe you're looking to upgrade your machine, I'll be glad to help you. So be safe out there, you all. And thank you all for watching. Get my eyes on a distant star.